doing, especially not meant to be human machine. So, I was a fish in deep water, a monk on a distant hill, a poet in silence with a candle as my light. Not a drop of technology was anywhere in sight. Out of nowhere, a story came to me. I suddenly turned around and my life was overwhelmed by technology. Emails and texts and social media, Facebook, Twitter, Skype, Instagram, don't you know, cyberspace and a cappuccino to go. Hold on, I thought I told you, I don't do techno. Come out of the closet, the renaissance is long lost. Come into cyberspace if you want your love to last. Everyone keeps telling me I can no longer be the poet of the past. Well, what about the masters, the healers and the prophets? Click onto their webpage, Cyber Gurus with triple W digits. Their entire page, their entire passage is in the window. Even God does techno. I bow my head, I surrender my pen. This poet has to accept we now live in a cyber reality. I look all around me, there are four computers and a wristwatch. Even toddlers are on an iPad. It's all so prevalent, modern day relevant, it would only be redundant for me to get mad or sad. No longer the Renaissance, a poet of the past. I've been moving too slow, no longer can one just go with the flow or say, leave me alone, I don't do techno. Hold on, wait a minute, if I don't press that key like a fish in deep water at the monk, on that distant hill, I can say no to techno, unplug my phone and silently go, hmm. One last time before I unplug, light my candle and deep dive deep to the ocean floor, I click on the cyber key just once more. Only to listen to sacred master my heart, telling me to accept technology, telling me that the computer can now touch an entire global cyber world, that it's time for the message of love to be heard, yep. That it's time for the message of love to be heard. 